When the year started, I knew a goal of mine was going to be taking more photos throughout the year, as well as sharing more of these photos online. If you want to see some of these, follow me on Instagram, either on my personal account or on my purely street photography account. On January 1st, I was on Facebook's Marketplace and stumbled across this guy. This is the Fujifilm X-E2, the older brother to the ever-popular X-E4. I mostly shoot with my Sony a7 III, it's actually the camera I'm using to film this video now. However, I've always wanted a Fujifilm. The color science and compact size of the Fujifilm line has always piqued my interest and I knew I had to have one. So why didn't I buy the X100V or the XE4? These are arguably much better cameras, especially in 2023, right? Maybe, but these cameras are expensive as fuck right now. Literally one arm and one leg to have your one hand have an ass hopping around with it. They cost too much and are still kind of hard to find. So when I saw this beauty on Facebook for only $500, I convinced myself I'm not that good of a photographer anyways, and this seemed like a pretty solid option for me. It's been a month now, and I can honestly say I really love this guy. Paired with the 27mm f2.8, the XE2 is a tiny beast of a camera. Sure, it's not the sharpest camera, but I'm posting most of this stuff to Instagram anyways, and they already have a great time compressing my photos, so, you know. Like I said, my goal was to take more photos this year, of everything. So my XE2 goes everywhere with me. I've yet to leave the house without it, and I really love having it with me, either around my neck or hanging by my side. Doing so has really allowed me to capture moments I probably wouldn't have otherwise. The compact size of these cameras really make it easy to carry it around or throw it in a bag without it being too cumbersome. I love my Sony. I use it for all of my professional work as a designer and photographer, but there's something really special about the images that come from a Fujifilm camera, especially the XE2. The Trans 2 sensor in this thing really has a lovely film-like look and allows me to take photos I'm really happy with straight out of camera. This camera allows you to take both JPEG and RAW photos, and this is something I'm still sort of experimenting with. I love the recipes this camera offers, but I do still like the ability to tweak my photos to fit my style, so as of now I'm capturing everything RAW plus JPEG. It's pretty amazing the images I can get from a camera that's now 10 years old. There are for sure sharper camera options out there with much higher megapixels and 4K video blah blah blah. but. This camera really has allowed me to slow down and capture things I may not have had the chance to if I was carrying around a much larger mirrorless camera. The XE2 definitely has its shortcomings and flaws, but it's the camera's limits that push me to be a better photographer and rely a little more on my skill and what makes me unique as a photographer. I'm planning on making a video soon about this guy as a part of my everyday carry for 2023, so if that sounds interesting, be sure to subscribe and don't miss the next one. Thank you so much for being here, you beautiful human. I'll see you next time.